Hey, hey, welcome back to MCOC Noxie, the master of mediocre gameplay. These are the last few wars of the season. I'm going to be changing alliances at the after the season. Um, just, just looking for alliance that takes war a little more seriously than the one I was on this year. Uh, like, and I'm showing you this fight. So there's just a couple of the interesting fights. I'm showing you this fight because uh, I play so poorly. <laughs> so here's uh, my rank for APOC versus a rank three Sauron and uh, you know, just start off the fight by taking uh, just a wonderful unblockable combo to the, to the grill which is always just you know that's what you're looking to do right you know just wake yourself up in the morning I've heard quarterbacks talk about the game hasn't really started until I've taken my first hit I think that was my approach here yeah just take a huge hit lose I don't know 55 60 percent of your health and then let's start the fight right when possible I love to push him to his SP2 because that's all it is right there, you just back up, just avoid it. The SP1 isn't difficult, but if it tags you, it does all that degen. And there it is again, me just playing very poorly. Well, I'm down to like, uh, just very little health left. This is the first time I'm re-watching this. This is from like three wars ago. I was like, I think I win. <laughs> I didn't remember dying to a Sauron. I haven't died too, too much. Let's see here. So now someone took my path, which I thought was weird. And so now I'm on someone else's path. I'm going to take this uh, rank 3 Mysteria with my Warlock. So it's a fine matchup, I guess. The nodes didn't really offer any any problems. So we'll keep him from healing. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, just don't beat into him now. Let that timer fade away. There we go. Ooh, he... He uh, stood his ground against my heavy there. That's not that's not awesome. He resisted the heavy. It's always so scary when that happens. So I'm pushing for the SP2, clearly. He's trying to heal, but Warlock doing his work. No healing, and it's draining his power, which is awesome. I still... I'm, I'm decent at evading it, but I still hate Mysterio's SP1. <laughs> Just that little bit of hesitation he does where he holds back, and you're like, oh... I'm it's kind of the same thing as a Doom SP1. You just have to wait to get that timing just right. So that fight went down. No problem. And then I think we've got a Kitty Pride, which once again we'll, we'll be showing just what an absolute boss and tank that APOC gets. I say, I'm pretty sure I'm going with APOC, yeah. Um, because I played this fight pretty poorly, if I remember correctly. Don't want to be giving her tons of prowess, but that's uh, sometimes a difficult thing. She's got a small health pool, so if you can just put the damage on her, that's nice. I am disorient immune. Take that, ghost girl. So, I'm a, okay, no, I'm saying my building up to SP2. No, I'm not. Just want to get some debuffs on her. Kitty, of course, is uh, incinerate immune. Oh, took a gosh dang. Just took that full to the face and then all those incinerates. Um, APOC can have incinerate immunity. Uh, there he's got it now. But you don't want to have to take that. She uh, she caught me with that little kick right before her SP1. I was ready for the SP1, I thought, but I wasn't ready for that initial move. So, good. Push her to SP2. Just uh, distance it. That's great. No problem. Man, APOC is such a monster. The amount of times I've died in war while I was playing APOC, I, I just don't even remember. I think it's happened. I think it's happened. But uh, he's just hard to die with, guys. He's so beefy. So here we've got a, an awesome Nebula fight against a, a, a shared path fight. And, you know, got to take a bunch of hits to the face. But thankfully, uh, Nebula does that thing where if it's critical hits, she's going to heal it back. She's got those healing charges, which are awesome. So now that you have over five amp charges, those little blue electricity bolt icons on Nebula, um, any robot is going to have their ability accuracy reduced by 100%. So everything that makes Nimrod dangerous and scary, as you probably already know, uh, is gone. All he can do is damage now, but he can't do any of his uh, additional abilities. So there we go. We put the 20 amp charges on him. We double them to 40 and watch his health disappear. Bye-bye, Nimrod. Uh, I love it when you have a, a perfect counter. So here we've got a rank four. Check this out, a rank four Infinity Man. Like, that's commitment right there. 
that's commitment. So I'll just fast forward to this because uh, as annoying as Iron Man Infinity War is, there is a champion called Magneto in the game. And when he exists, uh, it really doesn't matter that Infinity Man does. So only a poor, poor craftsman blames his tools. But I took a bunch of hits right there because my daughter jumped up on the bed where I was playing. And I was like, baby, not right now, not right now, not right now. And uh, she just had something she had to tell me. And it kind of just broke my focus. Once again, my fault for losing focus, but that is the story. And down goes rank four, Infinity Man. Now this is a fun fight. This is the closeout right here. This is a rank four absorbing man who I've never faced in war before. Um, there it is. Rank four. And I, I just didn't know who to take against him so I took my rank five five star void I was like man I remember my void melted this guy in the event quest the monthly event quest and so I'm <laughs> I didn't ask anybody I maybe googled but like I was like okay let's just do this void will reverse the healing after a while once the petrifies kick in and um, and he is incinerate immune which is if you're gonna take uh, some hits from uh, absorbing man in one of his stances or forms I think he calls them then you do not want to be taking the burn because he will melt you in a second especially a rank 4 so he goes unblockable yeah there he goes I just was a little bit late I guess on my dash pack that's something I'm figuring out I've been playing this game for a few years now I'm still figuring out like I, I think I'm late with my dash pack there we go I got parried isn't that fun at that point I think the fight is over uh, but I still am going to make a fight out of it you'll see getting my debuffs up on him so he can't heal. He's training himself big time every time he tries to heal. Look at his health just dipping there because he's trying to heal. He's got double heal on. Um, well, now he can do it because Fear of the Void kicked in, which I'm just not a super fan of, but okay. I know it's just uh, how Void's kit works. I wish he could just keep those petrifies up. <laughs> I know that's what everyone would prefer, but whatever. So at any point, basically, if I take any more significant hits from him, I'm dead. He's unblockable. There we go, time that one well, and down goes rank four, Absorbing Man with a five-star void. All right, y'all, y'all be good. I hope to see you next season when I'm in a different alliance.